Okay, so I'm installing Windows 8 and it says that the installation is done and it just needs to restart. I got an error message, lovely. Whatever that is meant to mean. This is looking good. <laughs> I'm actually going to hold down the option key because uh, I'm running a Windows on boot camp on a Mac. Um, and I want to make sure it boots the Windows part, so. Let's do this. See what happens. We'll go Windows and hope that's the right thing. I shouldn't imagine it needed to boot off the disk again, so. Could be wrong. Oh, Windows logo. So I um, upgraded actually from the Windows 8 release preview uh, to the full Windows 8 Pro. And that's the 64-bit version I'm installing. Preparing. Sorry for the shaky camera work, by the way. Oh. I'm uh, doing this each time because I actually forgot to set it uh, beforehand to automatically boot on uh, the Windows drive every time, which is probably what I should have done. <laughs> uh just by holding the option key when the Mac boots it will force it to do that so I wasn't quite ready for that one <laughs> and we'll see what happens now Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, hello again, window. And spinny thing. Getting devices ready. Looks promising. Going fairly swift ish. Bet it's gonna have restart again. Oh no. Oh. Obviously, I uh, did something relating to the graphics card there. Setting the resolution. Getting ready. I hope so. So am I. Ready to type in a ton of stuff, <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> Although I have already put in the product key, that was one of the first things I uh, had to do during the uh, Windows 8 setup process. So I'm assuming that as soon as it connects to the internet for the first time, 
the Windows itself will activate. It did kind of mention that at the beginning of the process. So yeah, I just thought I'd uh, record this for the hell of it. I mean, uh, I don't know. <laughs> don't have anything better to do. My dog is actually looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm talking to myself, holding a camera up to my screen. And no doubt everybody that uh, can see me through the window on my left is probably peering through from their car windows and sort of thinking that that man is insane, holding a uh, a phone to, in front of his screen. But uh, hey-ho. Still getting ready, I mean, goodness, I, I don't recall the previews uh, taking this long to install, however, it's worth noting that when I was installing the developer, consumer, and release previews, they were completely clean installs, whereas because this is an upgrade edition, uh, which is actually really, unless you go down the OEM route, the only um, retail um, flavors of um, Windows 8, uh, you know, that come in boxes, are the upgrade editions. So you actually have to have, um, you know, Windows XP Service Pack 3, uh, Windows Vista, or Windows 7. Um, ooh, it's almost ready. Now it is preparing. Hey, there we go. Restarting my PC. Got to get ready on the op option key. There we go. Boom. Please don't boot into OS ten. Alright, I think this is it. <laughs> uh, excellent. So yeah, I was just, uh, as I was saying, um in terms of retail versions of Windows 8, you know, that come in the packaging and all that stuff. The box, by the way, for Windows 8 is really nice. It's down there, very colourful, arty. Um, yeah, the, the only retail versions that there are, they're all actually upgrade editions, even though the word upgrade is only mentioned on the back of the box, uh, nowhere on the front. It just says Windows 8 Pro, so... Uh, yeah, unless you buy the OEM version, which you can from, you know, sites like eBuyer and, and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, you know, you people that build build systems of your own, uh, you know where you like to go to buy components and things. So you can get the OEM versions of Windows from there. Um, and the, they are full versions, but the actual full retail versions... Um, they're actually not being done anymore. It's all upgrade editions uh, for the average consumer. That said, uh, Windows is kind of cheaper than it ever was before. Uh, this upgrade edition was only forty nine ninety nine. I actually ordered it directly from Microsoft. Uh, they have a limited time offer, I think, uh, the time of recording this, which of course is on the launch day of Windows 8, 26th of October 2012. Uh, they have a limited time offer where you can get a downloaded, downloadable edition of the Windows 8 Pro upgrade uh, for twenty four ninety nine as opposed to forty nine ninety nine. But I, I really, really wanted a disc, so I, I went and ordered the the box version, and uh, yeah, it shipped to me uh, earlier this morning, and um, so it's here on time and on the day, and I'm just installing it now. And uh, install so far has been really easy, um, but it's has taken quite some time. Uh, again, it, it is upgrading from the release preview though, so that's probably why. Um, and yeah, the, the, before what I started filming, there was a, a big um, wait on a big blue screen that just said uh, installing Windows 8, you know, it went from 0% to 100 
uh, after some time. It actually, you know, wasn't the blue screen that we all should be afraid of. Um, I'm assuming that Windows 8 is actually properly full on booting now, but the first boot of, uh, of an operating system is usually the longest one. Uh, like I say though, this, this is taking a while. Hence why I keep yapping and yapping over the top. Just to pass time. I'm going to start counting how many times that uh, circle animation uh, goes past. No, not really. Um, but my arm is starting to hurt from holding this uh, phone up. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh boy. It's starting to worry me now. <laughs> oh my gosh. I wish they'd give it like you more more um of an inkling of what's actually going on. I mean, I know it says it's moving my settings now. But that was a long wait where you're just watching it spin and, you know, some people might think that their computer's frozen even though things are moving on screen and, you know, they might have forced their computer to switch off uh, by the power button and uh, obviously messed things up. So I, I appreciate that, that for Windows 8, uh, you know, Microsoft is certainly going for a cleaner theme. Uh, you know, even the packaging is much more minimalist. I mean, the all the instructions you get uh, to get started, literally, it's just on this card here. That's all you get in terms of help, uh, which is why I'm going to be doing more YouTube videos about the changes in Windows 8. I've mentioned this before. Um, and, you know, what's different, where everything is. And, ah, let's go through the basics. Personalize. Uh, okay, I'm going to pick my color, and I'm going to choose uh, this one. Yes. To be honest, this, yeah, this is going to be where I cut it off, really. Um, I think. I don't know, I'll see how I go. Um, I'll hide the characters here. Uh, oh gosh, can I remember the, uh, hang on, let's see if I can. Yay, alright. You, let's customize settings, I'm someone that likes to customize, I'll talk you through. Uh, yes, turn on sharing for my devices on my network. Do automatically install uh, and recommend updates. Uh, automatically get device drivers, all right. Uh, help protect your privacy of your PC. Turn on the smart screen filter. Um, turn on the Internet Explorer smart screen filter. Do not track request website, okay. That's fine, yeah, we'll leave all that as it is. I will help improve all that stuff. Why not? I don't mind. I'm not really going to be doing anything personal on Windows because I use Mac OS X most of the time. Uh, but I have been looking forward to this version of Windows, definitely. Um, yeah, check for online solutions went to problems and stuff. If there is uh, any, share info with apps, sure. Oh, that was it. Didn't really need to customize much. Wonder what's going to happen now. Whether it's going to reboot again. Oh no, this is it. And ah, look at this funky uh, login screen. Never seen this one before. 
And there we go, it's got my account there already. Does have my picture password. I'm not gonna actually use my picture password right now. So I'm assuming I could just log in actually. So let me do that. Welcome. It's got rid of my uh, picture that I had. Oh, hi. Well, while we're getting things ready. Oh, this is the tutorial. Take a look at the new way to use Windows. I've heard about this. I'll try and zoom in. Okay, is it telling me to move it into any corner now? No, I don't have a mouse pointer. And you can't really see, but in the picture there is a mouse pointer there. The colours... Ah, there you go, you can see it now, I think. Yeah, so it's just telling you when you move the mouse into the corner. Ooh, colours. Uh, the, the charms come up as they're known. But I will be doing my own YouTube video explaining how it all works, because obviously people that buy a new PC now, lots of them will have Windows 8 pre-installed and you know, it it is very different from Windows 7, so I want to make some really good YouTube videos explaining the differences and stuff. But I actually do like the changes in Windows 8, and I, I, I think Windows 8, you know, looks really good, and I've been looking forward to the release. And I'm really glad to have um, Windows 8 Pro, you know, on the day of release, so that I can dual boot it with Boot Camp on my Mac. Uh, even though I don't think that uh, Apple have official boot camp support for Windows 8 yet, you can see it's working. And there we go, there's my start screen and I'm uh, I'm all done. Nice. So this is it and um, there is the desktop there. Ah, you know what, I need to now. The I don't know if you can see that, but the, there is a, there is a taskbar down there. Um, but it's chopped off a bit. The reason is because I now will need to reinstall the uh, boot camp drivers that you download um, from the boot camp assistant in Mac OS X. This is an Apple Mac problem. Don't think that your Windows PC is going to be like this unless you're dual booting it uh, you know, with a Mac uh, via boot camp. So I'm actually going to stop this video here and I will re I'll reinstall my bootcamp drivers. Um, I'm not going to do a video on, on how to do that uh, unless, of course, uh, people ask for it. I'm probably now going to finish setting up Windows 8 myself, have a play around with it, and uh, yeah, but I, I just wanted to re um, record uh, a bit of the installation process after the initial sort of we're installing Windows, and I, you know, I thought pointless to make a video of the going from zero percent to a hundred percent. But I was interested to see what happens after that, and uh, it's pretty cool that I actually managed to get uh, the tutorial and everything that there is in there as well. You know, um, but like I say, I'll do my own videos of Windows 8 very, very soon. And uh, yeah, until then, this has been Andrew Portes. I probably will upload this to YouTube, and uh, yeah, take care. Bye bye.